Hello, my name is Alfred Gurrier, and welcome to another installment of Slam and Synapsis. I haven't done one of these in ages, but I figured this one was important enough to comment on. Gotta start you off with a story though. In 1989, there was a promising actress up and coming named Rebecca Schaefer. Um, for three years, she had been stalked by someone and eventually killed by that someone. You might, if if you're old enough, you might remember a show called My Sister Sam with Pam Dauber and David Norton. She was on there in a role. And her life was taken just like that by someone who had been, who had been focusing on her for quite some time. Flash forward a few years. <clears throat> Which, there's a reason why I bring that up. Because I think there's a lot of things that get overlooked by people when they comment about it. And that is the Sasha Banks situation. A lot of people talk about Sasha Banks on how she's not receptive to a fan base and just doesn't seem happy. If anything, whenever I look online, whenever I look at Facebook, whenever I look at Twitter and see pictures of people that get taken with wrestlers, the thing that I notice the most is that the wrestlers are the least happiest when they're having to take pictures at an airport. You could always see the rental car signs in the background. You could always see some sort of airline terminal sign in the background, always at an airport. Now, if they're out and about and like at signings or what have you, they're smiling, they're happy, they're in an area that people knew they were going to be in and everything's fine. Um, also, if you just happen to be out and about and you see someone, it's like, oh, and that's like, oh, wow, you recognize me, let's talk, let's do things, no, no, no problem at all. That's a different situation. But when you're flying into someplace and you... The only person that has the information about where you're going into is someone that you've probably given that to in terms of like your ride or in terms of the travel, per, a person that booked your travel, things of that nature. If you haven't given that information out to anybody to then all of a sudden see someone in your face, they are to see you based on information that they got from another source that wasn't you, I personally, personally, if that happened to me, I wouldn't be that happy at all either. Because then I have to question your, your motives. Are you here for an autograph? Most people are. They want to, they want to sell things on eBay. Uh, are you, it's like, what exactly are you here for? I know part of you wants to see me because I'm a wrestler, but for the most part, it's like, what's your intention? I mean, you could be friendly, you could be happy, you could be the safest person on the planet. But on the but on the other side of that, you could be some psychomaniac that is basically stalking people. Imagine if one day you're looking at a, you're looking at a news site, or you're watching the news, and you find out that someone like Sasha Banks got killed. You find out that someone got hurt or found out that something happened to someone that really could have been avoided. I don't blame Sasha Banks for not being happy whenever a situation like that occurs. I don't blame her for not wanting to smile and be all kinds of all kinds of whatever. Because you're in that environment where you're it's like when you're flying into an airport at that time in the morning, which they usually do I mean, you're not going to think too much about safety and security because if you've ever been to an airport at that time of day, there's not that many people there. So there's not that many chances of intervention. I mean, if you go later in the day, then there's tons of people there. But typically in the morning, the only people that are going to be there are like red eyes. So, so yeah, there's that worry, there's that concern, there's that safety factor that is my life at risk here based on the fact that someone's here to see me based on the information that I've never given to them. So for all these people that say, oh, it's all, it's like Sasha Banks is being this, Sasha Banks is being that, she's not being this, she's not being that. She's come from a world 
where with her cousin being Snoop Dogg, with the music industry, she's been and she knows situations that have happened that I'm sh- I'm sure she's known situations that have happened that didn't wind up ending out happily. So wow. I had to check something there. But yeah, it's it's just fascinating how people will get on her for not being so receptive, but they don't really take those thoughts into effect into account whenever they talk about it. They just think, oh, she's just being her. But I think more people should just be her. In terms of being cautious, in terms of being safety-minded, in terms of asking those questions. Why are you here? When I never told you I was going to be here in the first place. So, if you want to drop me a comment... If you have any thoughts about that, you can, you'll see a comment box below. I'm going to post this on my Twitter. That's at Catch the Pinfall. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm offline. Tell me if if I'm completely out of my mind when I come up when I have these when I have these opinions. If you think I'm right, let me know. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If you think that you'd rather watch something else, let me know. Because there's a lot, there's a lot more to this than oh, she's just not being friendly or cordial at places where she would expect that she could be safe, but may not be in the end. So that's going to be it for me today. See you whenever I do another one of these segments. Until then. See you next time. So long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.